Yo, what's going on guys, Vex back, and today we had a brand new video on Plug Power. Got to talk about them because they had a massive week this last week in the stock market, and we're going to see if they can continue that rally into this next week. But first, if you are not subscribed, look at that chart. We got a lot of people not subscribed. Just smash the sub button, and we will be on our road to 1,000 subscribers and you won't have to hear me do this pitch on a bunch of videos at the beginning of the intro so if you want to subscribe make sure you smash that sub button we are on the road to a thousand subs but jumping into plug power we have a very good looking chart good looking news coming out on plug everything shaping up looking very nice so you can see plug right here this is its daily chart uh you see the channel broke out of it kind of retested it here uh on friday not not you know insanely but a little almost a retest and i wouldn't be surprised because we've had obviously two very good days to end the week i wouldn't be surprised for it to come up to this 39 46 level and then get rejected uh maybe find a little bit of resistance here come back down test like this line which would be about 36 82 about 37 dollars and seeing it if it bounces off of this then we might be looking to break through this. And obviously, we zoom out. This is where we currently are. And the next resistance is $48. That's massive jump from it's a $10 jump from where we are right now. And obviously, you continue our move up. That would be the next resistance should like things work out how I'm seeing here. It wouldn't shock me to see a lot of red in this upcoming week just because we've had quite a bit of green uh, recently. So, but. It also wouldn't shock me to go back into green because the news around plug is fantastic. But obviously, zooming out, we only have two levels left to break until basically all-time highs. This uh, yellow mark is uh, basically what would break and then cause the run to an all-time high, which if we see that soon would kind of shock me. I don't think it's going to happen overnight, but play over the last few months of the year. It wouldn't be crazy to see us you know, hovering in this $50 range. I don't think that's insane. And then running to try and make new all-time highs especially with all the news that's coming out, but only two resistance levels, nothing crazy, and breaking out of this channel upward. Uh, if things play out, come up here, come back to test this line, and then jump right out, we could see it, a nice rally to $48. And, you know, we, I don't think anyone would be complaining if that ends up happening. But like I said, there is a lot of bullish news about Plug going on. They're making great moves in Europe with their facilities they're trying to grow out. Uh, fundamentals for plug look great their earnings report earnings call was very good uh, and they continue to move good the chart looks good fundamentals look good so everything shaping up very nicely as you can see on this article right here uh, plug power leads five all energy plants near buy points uh, so this is they partnered up with a company in europe uh, i'm not exactly sure what the company's name was but they partnered up with them and they're going to be bringing green hydrogen to Europe in their plants and stuff. And this is why I like plugs so much, because they move and have the ability to move very quickly and be able to set up plants and start running them very fast. Other companies in hydrogen don't necessarily have that. And then making all of the right moves, they're going to start in Europe, making green hydrogen be more available and, you know, move wherever that moves. We'll see where it moves. Uh, and this just talks about the companies and in, in hydrogen and new energy stocks but right here plug power clients include retail giants uh, amazon walmart and nike so they already have very good ties in amazon walmart nike and actually home depot and ge because of their forklift business so they already you know have good ties with them with these huge companies and the ability to have a relationship with massive companies like that is important uh, and then at their investor day on october 14th they said they expected sales of 825 million to 850 million for 2022, which is 65% higher than 2021 and above the fact set estimates of 760. Plug power is not profitable. The losses have been shrinking. That is massive as well because their goal at the beginning of 2020 was a uh, billion dollars in revenue and to be profitable by 2024. Obviously, you see they're very close to a billion or they're expecting to be very close to a billion at by 2022 which and they pushed their targets for 2024 out so much their billion dollars has turned into like one and a half billion or 1.6 billion they expect in revenue and to be profitable by then those are massive numbers that we're gonna have to keep an eye on 
to make sure they can actually hit those numbers. Because if they miss on that, that means things might not be going how they think things should be going. So those will be big numbers in three years and two years, basically two years and change. So we'll see how that actually plays out. I think they're going to be fine. They're going to do good, but they continue to make great partnerships. October 27th, uh, they teamed up with Life Lift. Don't want to say that. A pioneer producer and supplier of renewable and ecological hydrogen to develop green energy generation plants throughout Europe. So that's the company. Life Lift, however you want to say it, that they're partnering up to bring this hydrogen stuff to uh, Europe for. Uh, and they're, they're just expanding everywhere. They're in the U.S. They have four, three or four plants in the U.S. They have a plant in Europe right now and then expanding that Europe business. This is why I like them for the long-term future. If hydrogen should take off, and that's the big question, they will be able to supply hydrogen to everywhere in the world and be able to make it, supply it, and provide fuel cells. They'll be able to basically do it all in hydrogen. So the big bet is if hydrogen can play out, and I think we're moving towards a market that wants something like that, that wants green energy and wants this uh, type of movement towards it. So I think it's a good bet to have. Uh, and them being able to do everything they do, partnering with a bunch of companies. They have tons of partnerships now. So not only do they have relationship, relationships with these giant companies, Amazon, Walmart, Nike, GE, Home Depot, they have partnerships with Renault, with Life, with Airbus. They are just expanding their business, doing great. Uh, you see, on, and then this is the Airbus announcement on the 13th. They uh, joined aircraft maker Airbus to look into feasibility of a hydrogen-powered airplane which is actually, there was a story about that that is supposed to actually, within the next three years, have an airplane and a commercial flight off purely hydrogen. They're building a 19-passenger plane, so nothing crazy. It'll be the first plane fully off hydrogen to uh, have a commercial flight from it's somewhere in Europe to Sweden or Norway. So it's going to be a big move if they can get that going and make it a success that's just showing that it's moving in the right direction and on top of that they're making more markets for themselves not only will if hydrogen takes off they'll be able to be involved in the like regular market like cars and everything heavy duty cars everything in that like automotive industry they'll also be able to be in the aircraft industry supplying hydrogen there they'll just have supply chains set up everywhere it's just moving in such a great direction uh, that I don't know how you bet against them at this point. And we can actually see looking at the uh, tip ranks here that the analyst price target actually has gone up a little bit. I think it was $42 last time. So 44, some analysts making higher price targets and stuff. The high is still 78, low is still 27, but no sell ratings, three holds. I think there was one sell rating before. So that's gone and 12 buys. Uh, price target $44 is still well over you know where we are here that's basically the next resistance almost like 48 dollars next resistance so 44 very close to that so we'll see you know how this works out i think plug does better than 44 in 12 months that's what these are based off of uh 12 month price targets for the stock and another big thing to look at is the insider trading here so we can see earlier here when this huge run-up happened we had massive selling not a lot of buying going on kind of people inside the company selling shares on the rally uh thinking the stock might have been getting overpriced at the current levels and that ran all the way to the 73 dollars here and we saw this collapse back down and during this time uh when it was trading kind of sideways in this 20 28 30 dollar level somewhere around there there was just tons of buying 21 insiders but eight buys and then 18 buys so it was at 26 uh buys from uh, 21 insiders so just insiders buying their own stock at even 28 30 dollar levels saying that basically they they are more you know know what the company is doing and have a bullish output they think the company is moving in the right direction and they think the shares at the 28 30 dollar level are a lot cheaper than what they're going to be in the future because of where the company is moving so insiders buying is a pretty bullish signal to just say like the, sh the shares are cheap for what they think the company is going to grow into and obviously who knows better than the people inside the company working for it so i like this sign of insiders buying it's always a good sign so combine insiders buying with analysts upping their price targets and starting to talk good about plug and being bullish where they were not always that way they weren't always bullish on plug before 
Um, but now insiders buying, analysts pushing their price targets up and saying buy signals. It's just all in all coming together. Everything's looking good for plug. The fundamentals are looking great. The charts looking pretty good. And uh, just they're moving forward in the right direction. Everything is just starting to shape up for them. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. A little more on plug power, uh, just because they had such an insane week last week. And they finished the week insanely strong, broke out of that channel, going up to new resistance levels. Uh, it's just moving great. Lots of fundamentally good news, partnerships, everything just looking really good for plug. I like how it's shaping up. But it is a long term end of the decade, like at least 2024. If you're like looking at plug, the minimum should be 2024 for their profitability year, uh, if they can hit that. And then 2030, I think, is where things are really going to go off for hydrogen and this type of energy stuff. But we'll see what happens. Time will tell. And as always, guys, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. See you guys in my next video.